welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Brittany Jade and tonight we are doing a nighttime routine and I'm super excited to do this because I did a morning routine a few months back on my channel and that was really fun to film but I thought that I would show you guys what a nighttime routine looks like with both me and Taylor home. Obviously they look a little bit different when I'm by myself but it is a Sunday night right now when I'm filming this. You guys will be seeing this on a Friday. These nights are like a good night to film something like this just because like we have, a, we're a little bit more relaxed in our routine. I don't have work on Mondays, Taylor does. But I just wanted to take you guys through and really quickly show you like what an average night kind of looks like and the kind of schedule that we like to adhere to. So if you guys enjoy this kind of video, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Make sure that you hit that little red subscribe button down on the bottom, please, and the little bell notifications so that you don't miss any more uploads from me and let's go ahead and get on into today's video before we hop into today's video i did want to mention that today's video is in collaboration with my friend taylor over at her channel which is taylor avalos on youtube and taylor made mama on instagram she is a mom of three kids under three and a law enforcement officer wife and she's also going to be taking you guys through her nighttime routine with her three littles she's hilarious super beautiful and just a joy so i know you guys are going to love her channel make sure you check out her video after you check out mine i'll have everything linked down below so sundays are pretty much always left overnight at my house or that's just been the theme recently there's always like a ton of food left over from the week and I love leftovers my husband not so much but we always try to kill leftovers so I like having dinner on the table anywhere between 5 30 and 6 typically on a day when Taylor's working like sometimes we'll wait for him but recently I've just been sticking to eating dinner at 5 30 because that just kind of helps the bedtime hustle go a little bit smoother but we're just gonna go ahead and get dinner started um, he's on his way home now I'm gonna make like a quick salad and then we'll just like everybody's kind of like doing and some leftover or something so we'll just eat yeah so typically while I'm getting dinner prepared, this is when I set the kids up with some kind of activity and it's usually screen time of some sort for my toddler and my baby really enjoys sitting in this little jumper that we have him in. And this just allows me to have a couple of minutes to be able to prepare dinner, especially on those nights when I'm here alone because like I mentioned, my husband was not here for this part. So I did let my daughter watch a movie and there's absolutely nothing wrong with a little bit of screen time just so that I can get everything prepared so that we can get ready to eat. Something that really helps my dinner time preparation each night is having a solid planning schedule for what meals I'm going to be eating. This really just helps me. It relieves a lot of anxiety because I already know what I'm going to be making that night of, so I don't even have to think twice about dinner. For instance, this is a Sunday, and I always know that we are going to be having leftovers on Sunday, so it's just a stress-free time, and I can make sure that I hit my 5.30 p.m. dinner time. Another thing that I like to do is include my daughter in meal preparations especially when it comes to vegetables because she's a super picky eater so this helps her feel a little bit more adventurous when she actually gets to take part in preparing the food and it's just kind of a fun way for us to connect in the kitchen as well and I do let her know five minutes before dinner is on the table to step away from the television because this just helps her to kind of unwind and disconnect from her shows like any typical toddler who's allowed screen time she really does like her TV so I like to give her warnings before the food is ready to avoid meltdowns and I get everybody around the table and plate it up and set up with their bibs and things like that and I will get TJ set up with his food first because he is usually the one who is the most hungry and then I will serve Novali next and then I'll try and get sat down before she starts diving into her food so that we can sit down and have grace together. I have incorporated baby led weaning with TJ so it's actually really easy to feed him because he basically eats the same things that we eat at every meal so it just makes things a lot easier because I don't have to prepare a separate meal for him or spoon feed him purees. Dinner time in my house can typically go one of two ways. It can either be really enjoyable where everybody eats all of their food and there's no meltdowns or crying, or it can be a crazy house where everyone's food is going everywhere, my toddler's refusing to eat, and yeah, so it really just depends. This night was actually a pretty good night, and so I was really happy with everything, and thank the Lord my daughter was actually eating her food. Daddy. Daddy. 
So on this night, Taylor had just walked in as soon as we were done eating. So I went ahead and started clearing off the table. And I really like to have Novali clean off her own space at the table by emptying anything else she didn't eat into the garbage and putting her plate and fork and cup into the sink. This just gives her a little bit more responsibility. And I really like including her in things like this and giving her a little bit of a chore chart, I guess. I heard about when you pour my weed. Okay. okay, let's go feed Missy. Mm. Hey, buddy. Mm. We'll be right back. So Taylor brought home crickets for his leopard gecko, and Nova really enjoys feeding Missy. Missy is her name, and so she always goes and helps Dad put the crickets into the jar and refill her water. And I am not a huge fan of the gecko, but it does live in our room, and I have grown quite accustomed to it over the years, so there's that. And then Taylor comes down, and I usually serve him his food, and he gets to eat, and we get to hang out a little bit before it's time to go upstairs and do the bath time hustle. I'm one of those people that can't go to sleep if my kitchen and downstairs area is a mess, so I really do clean up my kitchen every single night after dinner. I have to make sure that all of the dishes are put in the dishwasher, that everything is wiped down, bottles are washed, and that kind of thing. It just gives me relief in knowing that my kitchen is all set and ready to go for the next day. So this is just something that I like to do for myself. And usually TJ will have his nighttime bottle around this time and it's a nice day out. So Novali is just running around the yard, burning off some last minute energy that she has, which is kind of nice. We do like to not have any television the last hour before bedtime. So usually she'll either play in her playroom or she'll go outside and do something like this and ride her Jeep or whatever. A tip that I have when thinking about what you're gonna do for your nighttime routine is to just start with what time you want your kids to go to bed. So if you're like us and you have kids who are two different ages and go to sleep at two different times, then you'll wanna start thinking about what time you want the first child to go to sleep and then just kind of count backwards on how long it's gonna take you to do a certain thing. For instance, I know that having dinner and cleaning up after takes anywhere between one and one and a half hours. It just kind of depends on the night. Another tip that I have is to talk with your child about their nighttime routines. I am consistently reminding Nova about her routine because it gives her ownership over the things that she is supposed to do at nighttime. For instance, she knows that when we're done with dinner that it's time to clean up and she really does enjoy helping us with chores. So she's constantly trying to help us sweep or wipe things up. Sometimes I'll just give her like a spray bottle with water and a rag to kind of help us. But this kind of prepares her mind to know what's coming next because we try and stick with the same routine every single night, even if it varies by, you know, half an hour or whatever. So we start heading upstairs and she knows that it's time for her to pick out her pajamas and her underpants for the night because this is something that I like her to do again just for her independence and we all head into our room every night is a little different we kind of go back and forth between giving them either a bath together or showering with one of us and on this particular night they're going to take a shower with dad so i just have their pajamas out on the bed because i am going to be out here in the room doing my own thing while they are showering and i kind of use this time as a way to get a few minutes of me time in. So I'm gonna head downstairs and I'm going to sneak a little treat. And I don't do this every night, but it is nice. It's just like five solid minutes of quiet time where I can like scroll on my phone, enjoy a treat. And I just think as a mom, you need that sometimes. So I definitely indulge in this quite often. <laughs> So then I just head back upstairs and I help Taylor get the kids out of the shower. TJ usually comes out first and then Nova Lee and I take her into her bathroom where we do horror nighttime routine stuff where I just like comb her hair up into a ponytail because it's curly and it's crazy if you don't do this. And while I'm doing this, I distract her by letting her brush her teeth. And then once I'm done with her hair, I'll turn around and I will brush her teeth just to make sure that she hasn't missed any spots. And then we'll head into our room because we're gonna do a bedtime story with both of the kids together.
three. Pet and the baby hugs. <laughs> three. Five. Kiss it all, baby. Boo boo hugs. Come here, come here, come here. We had a really bad habit of putting TJ to bed with a bottle, but we have recently stopped that and we're trying to put him in when we know that he's gonna be tired and just kind of turning the light off, turning on his sound machine and letting him fall asleep. And so far it's worked and it has been more of an adjustment for me than him, but definitely something that's nice to incorporate now. And Novali is always really hard to go to sleep. She fights her sleep like nobody's business and lately she's just been super willful so we'll have to redirect her several times before she falls asleep and this is normally because she hasn't been wanting to take her naps recently so she hasn't been getting the proper sleep so she's just so overtired and fussy by the time it's time for her to go to bed and so we just kind of do this back and forth thing with her for however long it takes this particular night was kind of bad so Once the kids are asleep, me and Taylor usually tackle any leftover house chores that need to be done, like laundry, or if we didn't get everything that we wanted to get done down in the kitchen, we'll go back downstairs and do that, or we'll hang out and we'll watch a movie. And lately, I've been working a lot on my cups after the kids go to sleep, but I've been trying to get it to where I'm in bed no later than 10.30, because I have a crazy problem of staying up until midnight. But we really like to utilize this time to just be able to chat, watch a movie, reconnect, do things together have conversation that kind of thing so it's just been kind of nice and we really enjoy having the kids go to sleep at an earlier bedtime because we were letting them go to sleep at like 8 39 so it has definitely made a difference and it's definitely improved how we spend our time together so that is pretty much everything that i have for you guys for this nighttime routine i'm going to go ahead and end it right here please make sure that you guys go and check out taylor and her video she is a law enforcement officer wife and she has a really interesting routine because her husband works nights and she's got three kids under the age of three you guys she's a real rock star so i know that y'all are gonna love her and make sure that you hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already and i'll check you guys in the next video bye